We're talking today about both the aesthetic and the performance benefits of building a house with timber frame and SIPS panels. We're back at our SIPS house and I want to talk to you today about integrating timber frame with SIPS and why they're such a good fit for each other. As you can see behind me, the great room is framed all in timber frame. These are Douglas fir architectural timbers from the Pacific Northwest and a local company, Texas Timber Frame, put everything together. This is really an impressive great room. Look at the mortise and tenon coming into the pegs. I've got a Doug fir 2x6 TNG ceiling. It really is going to make a beautiful room once we get this all whitewashed. But what I like about marrying the two is now this timber frame is actually carrying the structural load for that great room. My SIPS panels on the roof are only doing insulation duty. Now my 10 inch thick SIPS panels made from EPS foam have a continuous R38. I don't need a structural ridge. I don't need additional roof support. The timber frames handling that. The SIPS panels are strictly doing insulation on the roof. And now at this point, I'm totally done. I, have to, I don't have to worry about how I might insulate above that timber frame. It's really a perfect marriage of these two concepts. Now the rest of the house has SIPS panels that are both structural and insulative for the roof system. So for instance, this bedroom we're in here, if you look at this attic space above, we've got a structural beam running across. These are a double LVL that's carrying that roof load. And I also have some structural support inside my SIPS panels. So I've got a slightly reduced R value in this roof compared to above my great room, but it's still a very, very well insulated and of course, very airtight roof system. Also, we're not gonna need additional insulation. So now when I put my ducts up in that attic above me, it's part of the air conditioned space of this house. That attic may be one or two degrees hotter than this bedroom where I am now, but it's basically the same as where we are. Very, very impressive system. On the outside of this house, we're gonna be using Casella Dorkins Delta Vent SA on the walls and Delta Fox on the roof. And now I've got a house that's both air and watertight and super insulated for many, many generations to come. For more information on both timber frame or SIPs, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. And if you want to follow the progress of this house, we're always going to do hashtag Reisinger SIPs when we post to Instagram or Twitter. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.